everybody and welcome back to Manifestation Budgets. I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm going to be cash stuffing um, for, I think it's week four of August now. Um, I've not got anything to roll over into challenges this week from the last week. We've spent everything again, um, but we need to cash stuff for this week and yeah, top up our cash envelopes and put a little bit into challenges. Um, Obviously, we are still on our lower budget due to paying off, um, obviously, our spending in London um, and putting money back onto the credit card. Um, we're also nearing towards the end of the summer holidays, so we're starting to wind things down a little bit. Um, and I don't know if anybody's seen my Instagram, but I did put on a post um, yesterday, I think it was. Um, oh, no, the day before yesterday, um, just with it, we've got a bit of an issue, basically, with our childcare. Um, and obviously, I've only recently gone back to work in the last couple of months, but we're currently um, trying to figure out our next steps um, and as to whether or not I'm going to continue in my job or not. Um, so I won't go into too much detail about that because we've not yet made some decisions but at the moment it's very up in the air and so yeah we need to be really really careful of our budget. Um, I want to make sure that regardless of what happens whether I leave my job or not that we continue to cash stuff, we continue to save and just make sure that we make our budget work. Uh, we would only ever be um, kind of where we were before I started my job, it's not worse um, it's just kind of taking a little bit of a step back because obviously we've been able to save a lot more recently with my income coming in. So we're going to top up our weekly wallet and then we're going to look at some savings challenges. So let's give the cash a little count. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, 30, 5, 40. So I think it was 125 last week. So it's a little tiny bit more. Um, but yeah, it's still not much more. So we are going to, I don't know if you can see that. So we're going to start off with food and fun. And as usual, this is going to get £40. And um, this seems to be working for us. It's a good amount. Um, and most weeks we roll something over, but obviously we've not done <laughs> last week. Um, we're then going to go to our boys. And our boys is going to get the um, £35 that is the um, summer holiday budget. Um, obviously the £50, like I said last week, we're not going to digitally stuff. We're just going to stick to the 35 And the £50 that would have gone digital is going to go onto the credit card. So that's fine. And then my spending this week is going to get 20 I'm going to play rock, paper, scissors. So let's go to our challenge binder and get our rock, paper, scissors challenge out. And let's see what spending money we're going to get this week. So we've been rock the last two weeks. What are we this week? Rock again. Gosh, this dice likes to repeat itself, doesn't it? So I get my purple pen. I'm going to do rock again. So that's five. So I need... Uh, okay, so I'll take 15 out and put 20 in. So there's now 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 now in there. And how many rolls have we got left? Four more. So four more rolls. Um, so four more weeks. And then that will be complete. And the th I think when this is complete, I'm going to put it into the iris binder. Um, I think that's my plan. So we've got £15 going in my spending. Um, yeah, what I might do is, because I'm going to probably need the fivers, I'm going to take five out of our boys and then swap that for a 20. So I'll put a 20 in my spending um, and I'll just remember that five of that is supposed to go in the boys envelope and then that means that this 20 can go here for cash stuffing. So yeah, that's the three wallets complete. I've actually ripped my spending one a little bit, but it's still fine. Um, and these are my lovely custom envelopes from Jules at Scottish Highlander on a budget. Um, so they're going to just go there. I'll put them in my purse later. And then we are going to stay in the challenge binder because this week we're going to do mainly challenges. We're not going to do sinking funds. The idea is the more challenges we complete, the quicker we can fill up the iris binder and the quicker we can put all the money from the iris binder across the sinking funds, which will really help us, obviously, if we're on a lower budget that we've got things already saved for. So we're going to jump back to angel numbers now. I seem to have a bit of an issue with this challenge, don't I? I seem to keep forgetting to put the money in that I'm supposed to put in. Um, that's the second time now that I've completely messed that up. So I have corrected it. The £10 has already gone in. 
um, I just took it out of one of my um, spending envelopes, which was fine. Um, and today we're going to be putting £10 in. So let's do this properly, guys. So let's take 10 out and put the 20 in. So that's £10 going in. <laughs> let's cross off the 10 before we forget. And let's give it a count up. So in total, in angel numbers, we've got 200 in the bank, 220, 30, 40, 5, 55. So 255. And again, I think this will go to, we said passport, and then we need to put whatever's left over into um, the iris binder. I need to actually work out how much passports are going to be. So it's just the three kids that need one. Husband's got one and I've got one, so it's just for the three kids' passports, and then anything that's left over will go into the iris binder. So that's angel numbers, all present and correct. We'll leave that for another week. Um, then we're going to pop to the Little Moon Budgets Challenge that we started, well, that we've put in last week, and it's the Got You Covered Challenge with all the cute little umbrellas, and we're doing £2.50 per icon, and we're going to put £5 in there today, so we can cross off two little cute umbrellas and put our first fiver in that challenge so we're going to do all these ones quite small denominations because then we can get through them quicker and the money that we save obviously like i say we'll go into the iris binder now um and then yeah i've got so 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 many little moon budgets challenges that i want to do so we're just gonna get through them um as quickly as we can now we're going to go on to pumpkin picking and see how we get on this time so we need the cards again this is from little moon budgets so we're going to give the cards a shuffle I'm not very good at shuffling okay and we're going to draw a card oh it's the joker I was waiting for the joker to come back up so are we going to risk the scratch i think we should i really think we should so how many is there one two three four five six seven eight so what should we do let's just roll we'll just roll the six-sided one and just go for which one so number four so one two three four so let's see Five pounds, Abby. Wow. Yep, yeah, that was a risk, and it did not pay off. Twenty-five. I've even got twenty-five. Oh god, I've like scratched the other one off. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Twenty-five pounds. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Oh. Well, it's a risk we have to take. <laughs> So we're saving 25. Wow, this is going to be a really good amount for um, October half term and Halloween, which is good because we're going to need that because the boys like to do activities and stuff, don't they? Ah, Right, okay. So we need to add this 25. We've got a lot of fivers here, haven't we? Um, I keep scratching all these off. Okay. Let's turn it that way so hopefully it won't scratch it as much. Put the little cards away. Um, sorry if you can hear the noise outside all the kids outside are playing um so we've saved so far for october um half term slash halloween stuff we've got 20 30 40 50 65 75 85 95 wow so we're nearly at 100 already and we've got another six more to go wow so that's really good. That's really good. It means we've got some money to spend at half term. So it means we've only got £5 left. Um, so I'm going to put it in the five saver this week, I think, just because I want to get this one done as well. Um, so yeah, pop up the last little £5 in here. We'll call that five in. Give it a bit of a waft and then let's see how many we've got in there. So we're doing this all in £5 notes. So in total now we've got 5, 10, 
15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So that's really good. And it saves 100 in total, I think. 40, 80, 90. Yeah, it saves 100 in total. And that is from Budget with Moo. And that's all the money gone. Because obviously our lovely pumpkin picking stole all the money. So we can't put anything into very special today. But never mind. Never mind. Um, so yeah. So that's probably quite a short video actually. Um, there's not really that much money to stuff. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I need to update you on. Um, no, no, I think that's it. So yeah, um, my next video will be... Um, a bonus slash side hustle cash stuffing, uh, which we will be putting some money into different challenges. Um, and then I will be hopefully doing a bit of an update video. Um, obviously when we've made decisions on our finances and our budget and what we're gonna be doing, I might do a, a video on kind of how our budget is gonna look moving forward. But for now, um, and I think we're only on, what, 12 minutes, which is not very long. Um, that's where we're up to today so thank you so much for joining me for this video and i will catch you all in my next one take care guys bye